So the, the ultimate would be to bring these things together where you have messaging and settlement coming together, that who owns what machine working hand in hand. We are, you can call it, I mean, in terms of network, you can call it us as a Swift-like network, but in terms of technology, we are we are miles, miles ahead. Oh, that's the other thing. They're offshore and no one seems to care about that. And um, they went down to Bahamas, looked at the parking lot, and there was like two parking spots, right? So this is a billion, multi-billion dollar fintech. I mean, think about how many people work at Ripple, like hundreds and hundreds. But there's like three or four people who work at Tether, and we don't really know much about them. I mean, I'm a thousand percent optimistic. I mean, this is the story of San Francisco, the boom bust, the, re the rebirth. That's that's part of the creative process, right? So we're kind of setting up for something. But we do not want to also uh, do certain use cases and service providers injustice by putting them under the regulated financial sector um, section when they're purely infrastructure providers, for example, that should not be regulated. If you're a average investor, you're not accredited, uh, they're going after Coinbase, they're going after Kraken, now they're going after Robinhood. They're basically saying you shouldn't be allowed to own what's been one of the best performing asset classes. Was right seeing things like decentralized rideshare or decentralized exchanges or decentralized uh, ticketing. Think about ticketing. It is the single best oh, use case. Yeah, you have to add at least one other person to make it plausible. Okay, but you you might be the main guy. It's not impossible. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got the skill set to do it. Know what you hold? Enjoy the ride, pal. It's the excellent. If you got some baggies, welcome to the party. Welcome back to some more. Moon o'clock news. No breakfast, no coffee. Just straight extra. Extra. Bullishness. Shout out to the latest. Uh, appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing them likeies. Stuffing some baggies. Go ahead. Throwing those moon suits. Throwing those pilot shades. Buckle up. Because the future's extra. Extra. Bullish. Let's go full speed. Full throttle. Into the cryptoverse, we had the total global cryptocurrency market cap today at 2.42 trillion, down about 1.7 percent in the past 24. We got XRP in that number seven spot, right around 52, 53 cents. We got Stellar XLM in the number 38 spot, right around 10, 11 cents. BTC 62,485. We got ETH right around 3K. Flare Networks right around 0.02 A Axelar dollar 15. XDC right around 0 0.037. We got Songbird 0098. Stronghold 0078. We got Zahal right around 16 cents. Evernote 27, 28 cents. We got one from XRP drops to pop things off. Swift versus Ripple, messaging versus messaging and settlement. If Swift wants to fix payments per US, that's great. It's one less thing we'll have to do. Joe Cats. Swift does messaging with a large data payload in the ISO 222 messages but it doesn't do settlement. So the, the ultimate would be to bring these things together where you have messaging and settlement coming together, that who owns what machine working hand in hand with something you can transfer the, the large data payloads. So the thing that I would say is Swift is primarily a messaging layer. So it moves messages or information from point A to point B. Ripple has combined both messaging and settlement together in one single place, right? Which is tightly knit so that when a message move from point A to point B also value moves alongside and the value is considered settled and it gets done. So you could send millions of $1 transaction or $5 transaction from institution A to institution B and they'll get delivered to the beneficiary account safely uh, and with, with all the, with almost zero errors and, and, and instant credit into the account. So we are, you can call it, I mean, in terms of network, you can call it us as a Swift like network. But in terms of technology, we are we are miles, miles ahead and we are the modern age technology that has been built up in a single API XRP, the one true killer app. We got one from the digital asset investor Tether. It looks like they took a deal. In 2019, Tether got flipped. They were sued in the SDNY, the you know special district in New York, and it looks like they took a deal and now Tether for the last couple of years has been used by the banking cartel to move money in and out of the United States outside of the legal framework. That's why Tether, no matter what they do, they can't get taken out. They can't get like, they're never in trouble, really. It is fascinating why they seem to get this level of protection that no one else has. And nobody seems to work at Tether. Like, 
There was a CEO who was never around and the CTO Paolo Ardino or something like that has now assumed the CEO role. BitBoy even went down to the Bahamas. Oh, that's the other thing. They're offshore and no one seems to care about that. And um, they went down to the Bahamas, looked at the parking lot and there was like two parking spots, right? So this is a billion, multi-billion dollar fintech. I mean, think about how many people work at Ripple, like hundreds and hundreds, but there's like three or four people who work at Tether and we don't really know much about them. It looks a lot like FTX in that it's a cover for something else. And the people who are really doing the work aren't disclosing that on their LinkedIn profile or whatnot. Uh, so Tether, I think we will find out the truth one day. I think they are protected until the time when a flip the switch black swan event happens. Tether gets taken out, crashes it. And then the Phoenix uh, merges with the new fame payment system right in line with problem reaction solution that they've had in place. Is Tether the last domino to collapse before they flip the switch and enter in the new financial system? The XRP, XLM, XDC. We got one from Crypto Eddie, Carpe Diem. I mean, I'm 1000% optimistic. Ripple chairman, Chris Larson. I mean, I'm a thousand percent optimistic. I mean, this is the story of San Francisco, the boom bust, the, re the rebirth. That's, that's part of the creative process, right? So we're kind of setting up for something... I don't know what it is exactly, but I know it's going to be exciting as hell. The, the, the flip side of every, you know, kind of bust, you know, the bust might be commercial real estate downtown. Okay, you know, bad for real estate investors. Uh, that's good news for like any new business that wants to start or any new retail idea or entertainment idea or housing idea. It's just laying the field for all the creativity that exists here, which will just I mean, it will just rush in and you'll wake up one day and it'll be like, you know, we'll be at the height of the boom again, right? So these things happen pretty quickly. It's a small city. It doesn't take much really to change the, the equation and then throw in something like AI. I mean, we have to recognize the AI thing kind of overnight. It just exploded. It's all right here. The billion, tens of billions that are going into that, not just on the development of it, but maybe on the safety rails of it. And think about all the derivatives that will come at the second order derivatives from that. In a small city like San Francisco, place could be like the most creative, busy place on the planet by next summer. And I mean, it, it literally can go that way. So I, I just have no doubt in my mind on that. This is going to turn out to uh, be another chapter. 1000% optimistic. The best is still yet to come. Crawl, walk. Then we rock it. The last mile is upon us. We got Linda P. Jones. We had a fabulous time at XRP Las Vegas 2024. Let me share you some important and timely information related to the conference. DAI XRP Snakey showed us a clip of Greg Kidd saying that one of the most powerful quotes of the event traveling on things like XRP Ledger. This dollar could be the currency of the world. Remember, Greg Kidd used to work with the Federal Reserve. Interesting that he is the one to announce XRP's true purpose. It reminded me of the time David Schwartz explained that if no country wanted to be dominated by another country who had control of the world reserve currency and there was a new system replacing it, countries would want it to be decentralized and have no one country in control of the money. As Brad Kimes remind us, a level playing field, and David said, I loosely quote him here, if a few people, XRP holders, were to get rich as a result, so be it. But David has been even more direct. Remember this quote from a few years ago where we're in the middle of rebuilding the financial system. And in 2017, it was even announced on the Ripple website, Simple Gold, making XRP the world's reserve digital currency. It's no wonder they want you out. Mr. Man XRP for security reasons. Every participant in the Ripple net must hold a small amount of XRP as 300 plus financial institutions holding a sum of XRP. Waiting for clarity as well. But, 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 but. Banks don't hold XRP. Know what you hold. We got good morning crypto. Justin SEC versus Ripple update. The SEC coming for the Ripple stablecoin next. Ripple's primary business continues to be as it been since 2013. Unregistered sales of XRP. It also plans to issue a new unregistered crypto asset. SEC court documents. It appears that the SEC is addressing the Ripple stablecoin claiming this asset as an unregistered security before the launch or details have been disclosed. Ripple primary business continues to be as it has been in 2013 unregistered sales of XRP. It also plans to issue a new unregistered crypto asset. XRP taking over. Stablecoin takeover next. We got Tom Emmer. Today we'll vote to overturn Gary Gensler's illegal SAB 121 rule. This rule prevents banks from safeguarding digital assets for their customers, which only increases concentration risk on our market and puts American digital asset holders in a vulnerable position. Get those jumpsuits 
Get those jail cells ready. Gary, you still there? We got 707 Crypto. Meanwhile, outside of the US, you have the rollout of digital asset frameworks from the guitar finance sensor. Authority saw unfolding right before your eyes, hidden in plain sight. I feel like the majority of the regulations that we're seeing would, would very much be focused on the financial services aspect yeah. and seeing if they will be covered under securities or banking law. Perfect. Mm. But we do not want to also uh, do certain use cases and service providers injustice by putting them under the yeah. regulated financial sector um, section when they're purely infrastructure providers, for example, that should not be regulated. Maybe they could be falling under an outsourcing agreement or yeah. having some digital operation resilience aspect that they have to comply with, mm. but not necessarily regulated in a financial sense. And we got one from Exxon X589. HSBC Gold Token is a digital token on a distributed ledger and is backed by physical gold bars kept in our vault. Says a friend sent this to me. Says I still have accounts at HSBC personally and my business. The other day I accessed my mobile app and saw a section about gold tokens. I couldn't believe it. See screenshot. Can't access the investment areas while I'm living in the U.S. now, but there it is. Thought you'd be interested. Hope all is well. Investments. We got HSBC gold token, a digital token on our distributed ledger, and is backed by physical gold bars kept in our vault. HSBC gold token. Stuart Alderati, more of the same from the SEC. Failing to faithfully apply the law and trying to pull the wool over the judge's eyes. The good news is that we're closer than we've ever been to putting this lawsuit behind us. Though, unfortunately, many are just starting the journey. Best is still yet to come. We got XRP drops. Robin Hood's SEC's well notice was no surprise. Many XRP holders have suffered price depression in the last few years due to the SEC lawsuit. Post from Robin Hood come out saying it's received a Wells notice for its crypto operations. I think a lot of people were caught off guard by this. KBW even said in a report this morning that the move was surprising. What's your reaction to this development? Is it actually surprising to you? Well, I wish I could say I was surprised, but it's a continuation of an SEC pogrom, basically, against the crypto industry. Effectively, people talk about the word regulation, but it's not really regulation that they're after. They're really after prohibition. They're really doing everything they can, if you think about it. If you're a average investor, you're not accredited, uh, they're going after Coinbase, they're going after Kraken, now they're going after Robinhood. They're basically saying you shouldn't be allowed to own what's been one of the best performing asset classes, uh, you know, period. Moreover, the SEC is, is not supposed to be a merit-based regulator. They're supposed to make sure there's good disclosures. And there's actually more information about most crypto projects, certainly the ones that, that Robinhood lists, than there are about quite a few other assets. So. It's just more of the same. I wish I could say it was something else, but it's really, you know, a war. And, you know, one can speculate as to why, but it seems fairly clear what's going on here. Meanwhile, we got Riz XRP says, don't let this happen to you, XRP holders. Don't be a billy. We got Greg here, it looks like from May of 2016, says, I wish I kept my 1700 BTC at six cents instead of selling them at 30 cents. Now that they're at eight bucks and now above. 60k don't let that happen to you and sell your xrp at all time highs at around three dollars currently xrp 52 cents built to move value can't be dirt cheap know what you hold shout out to mission bpm for holding it down for our third edition moon party ticketing this is worth the quote ticketing is the single best use case no regrets for all paul discuss the future of blockchain and their views on ticketing it all started from an idea then two ticks official was born change is coming ticketing is the single best Use case, don't sleep on BPM. The real reason that I got excited about the decentralized revolution really was right seeing things like decentralized ride share or decentralized exchanges or decentralized uh, ticketing. Think about ticketing. It is the single best I use know. case. I know. I keep saying this. It's huge. And we don't have ticketing yet because Ticketmaster is pretty freaking good and tough. I and know. Don't, Ticketmaster don't are the largest issuer of NFTs in the world. And they don't want to give up their monopoly. But they're, they're, they're actually the largest issuer of NFTs in the world. They've issued over 30 million NFTs. They just don't use it for their tickets yet. Of course and not. I, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've spoken to that team about it, and I think they might get there. But ticketing, but you, I think you, it needed the... Monopoly, and so you protect your monopoly. BPM runs on. XRP. We got Sandot ETH. Bello will leave everything behind. Doubts. Short-term visions. Hands that aren't strong enough, nothing. The Velo community welcomes you, but at a higher price, the road ahead is wide open. 
Asian Dragon 2024 explodes. We got one from Mustache. So far, the total cryptocurrency market cap has copied the structure of 2020 almost identically. If things continue like this, the boring times will soon be over. My opinion, this thing could get interesting again from the second half of May. Bags packed. And we got one from Crypto's TA XRP currently sitting on the 21 MA. Not a good looking chart at the moment in this bear pennant formation. Daily close above the white resistance would paint a different picture, but for now, we must be cautious. XRP. Got one from Jerome, XRP Maxi, XRP BTC. Mel's encounter with Joe Katz and getting Mr. Schwartz to agree that it's plausible that he might be the main Satoshi Nakamoto. Then I want to see, see your reaction and your expression and your body language. Okay, check this out. 1988, you put the blockchain technology back in 2000 or something like that, and you go to work for Tarpa, am I correct? No, I mean, I did, I spent a couple, I spent some time consulting for the NSA in 2000 and okay. um, 2000. And, and what happens in 2007 and 2008, we have a housing bubble. Right? And in 2009, just so there, Bitcoin is born. Bitcoin doesn't work. It's too slow. It's cumbersome. And then the only guy that can fix Bitcoin is Satoshi Nakamoto, a.k.a. XRP. No? no? Well, so there's one problem with that, which is if no. you look at the list of Bitcoin source code, right. the, it has a user interface that's might be QT. Uh -huh. I don't know. Oh. So you gotta have to you have to add at least but one you other have, person. You have resources. Yeah, you have to add at least one other person to make it plausible. Okay, but you you might be the main guy. I, it's not impossible. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I have the skill set to do it. Also, but I didn't discover this one until 2011. I wish I had. Believe me, I'd be what? How many? How much? How much is Bitcoin worth? Um, it's 62. What is it? How much is it? How much is How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much is How much is How much is How much is well, okay. 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 Like, and you know what you can do with money? Like, look at right. the who went on office with Elon Musk. 100%. You have somebody who has that level of money and power and influence yeah. by your way. And you don't know who they are. Right. Don't be what their politics are, who they're aligned with, if anyone. That's easy. Yeah. Like, so buying freedom without knowing. It has. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of nature of what that. And the weird thing is, though, so his Bitcoins have not moved. Right. Well, so they don't have to. Bitcoin was a demo. XRP ready to go live. And with that being said, Batman and Bag Ladies, Weird Nation Unboxed, Stuart Alrighty says Ripple is close to ending the SEC lawsuit. This is what the rest of the industry is facing if Congress does nothing. SEC Ripple case is coming to an end, but everyone else is just beginning. Letter Fred note that the greatest opportunity of multiple lifetimes is still at hand, but the trains left the station. Tick tock. Tick tock, where are those bags beat when that regulation jar molasses finally breaks open and XRP's true price is finally revealed. Bags. Later, glitches. Pump, pump it up, pump, pump, pump it, pump it up. Pump, pump it up, gotta pump my bags up. Pump it to the moon, pump my, pump my bags up. XRP, pump it, pump it, pump it to the moon. Pump, pump, pump it up, pump my bags up. Pump it up, gotta pump my bags up. Pump, pump it up, gotta pump my bags up. Pump, pump it up, XRP to the moon. Pump, pump it up, pump, pump, pump it, pump it up. Pump, pump it up.